Hello, this is the Turfway Park Report for day 15 of the holiday meeting, Friday, December 22nd, 2017. Nine live races on the card here on Rockin' Friday. The poly track is fast. The first race, a climate event for fillies and mares, which have not won two races in the last six months, the distance five and a half furlongs. Scratch the five, morning line favorite to six, teacup twirl with Rafael Mojica. And they're off. La Jolla de Oro broke sharp, but it's Teacup Twirl who ranges up to the outside of her and now has the most speed. Miss O'Meara the Gray off the gate in the third position. Up outside, pink for me is away in fourth and comes sweet in tree to his fifth. And not simply Simon is last of the sextet. Up the backside they go. About eight lengths from top to bottom, and it's Teacup Twirl who shows the way by just about a length. La Jolla de Oro ranges up on the inside in second. Miss O'Meara has come off the rail out into the two path and moves third. Now pink for me being called upon and is moving. Moving well on that far turn run up into a joint third and just two links off the pace. And here she comes to the outside of Teacup Twirl. So Teacup Twirl still there. Pink for me to the outside. Perry Utes is crying out for room with Miss O'Meara. And now he's going to come off cover to the outside as they straighten away. The half was in 46 and 2. Teacup Twirl reaching for the wire. But Pink for me looks to spoil it, ranging up to the outside. And Pink for me by the 16th pole opening up on Teacup Twirl. Miss O'Meara down the center up into third. La Jolla de Oro to the inside, but pink for me off the sixth day freshening <laughs> wins by about two and a half. Teacup Toro in a photo there with Miss O'Meara for the second spot, then La Jolla de Oro was fourth in 105 and three. Number seven, pink for me, making her third start in just 15 days, gets up to win for owner trainer Burt Crawford and PD Prentice, the winning jockey. Number seven, pink for me, was worth 540. 280, 220. Second, number six, Teacup Twirl. Third, the one, Miss O'Meara. And fourth, the four, La Jolla de Oro. The winning exacta was $17.20. The Superfecta, 7614, for a $1 ticket, returned $63.20. The running time for the five and a half furlongs was 105 and three fifths seconds. Tonight's second race is a claimant event. Made in Philly, two-year-olds. 15,000 down to 10 to go six and a half. Scratch one, Serena's Hope. Morning line favorite to the outside, number 10, on the clock for Ken and Sarah Ramsey. They're off. Quick start for Lawless, who came out running. The favorite on the clock, off the gate in second. First timer, tell it in a melody. Hustled up by Oots towards the inside. As they leave the chute behind, they straighten up at the main track, and it's tell it in a melody to the inside of Shadow Good Judgment. Out three wide, Lawless. These three in a line, and they're four in front of the favorite on the clock, who is fourth. First time starter, Desiree, slides up through along the fence in fifth. Right in behind that one, Stroll by Link is next as they pass the half-mile pole. Then a link for the back to Radar Vision and a margin of about six links to Your Awesome Blossom and way out at the back. Hey, Sweet Cheeks. First quarter, 23 and two fifth seconds. On to the far turn run. Lawless, just from Tell It in a Melody. Here is on the clock for the Ramsey family, breezing up three wide in hand, trying to follow that one. Radar Vision is moving well. The daughter, Divine Park, is closing in as well as they continue to run around the turn and they pass the quarter mile pole. On the clock and a confident Victor LeBron will turn them on down. Lawless under the whip. Here's Radar Vision on the three wide side. From the back of the pack, stroll by Link even further out. Your awesome Blossom is gaining good momentum with an eighth of a mile to go. It's on the clock to the outside. Radar Vision and your awesome Blossom continuing to grind. Lawless still fighting on along the rail. It is on the clock just from Radar Vision. On the clock, on the class drop. Another winner for Ramsey Maker and LeBron in 119-2. Number 10 on the clock wins the second race to start the pick four as the favorite delivers for owner Ken and Sarah Ramsey, trainer Mike Maker, and Victor LeBron up top for the winning ride. The winner was worth 460, 320, and 280. Finishing second, number six, Radar Vision. Third, number nine, Lawless. And finishing fourth, the eight, Your Awesome Blossom. Exact to $20.60 the try, $72.60. Super, $350.80. And the first double on the evening was worth $15 even. Running time for the six and a half furlongs, 119 and two fifths seconds. Tonight's third race, a Philly Mare condition claimer to go a mile and 16th. Field of six after the scratch of number seven, Rohan, and the morning line favorite at even money, number six, made on a mission, looking to give Crawford and Prentice two on the card. 
They are off. The favorite made on a mission broke well. Also, no tanks is a pace presence. Through from the fence, there's Wild About Jack. Puppy on a string is uh, wrangled back into fourth, but only about two lengths off the lead. Then a margin of three back to Sweet Rock. And at the back of the pack, the late running Hermosa Vaquera who's about seven lengths off of the lead as they have just outside six and a half furlongs to travel. No tanks and Victor LeBron show the way through a first quarter in almost 25 seconds flat. So 24 and four the time for the opening quarter. It's no tanks leads them by the six furlong marker. The lead is two and a half lengths. Made on a mission, the favorite, stalking from second. Two links for the back. Wild about Jack races third. Covered up to the outside now by Puppy on a string who moves a closer fourth. Then a margin of about six or seven lengths back to Mercil Vaquera, who's up one spot. And that relegates Sweet Rock to last of them all. The half mile, 48 and four fifth seconds. So 24 and... Seconds for the second split there, and through from the middle, there goes Made on a Mission. No Tanks is being asked to keep pace now. There's Wild About Jack, three wide third. Puppy on a string in the holder filled silks, moving gamely from fourth. The whip comes out on Hermosa Vaquera, who's tightening up from fifth, and Sweet Rock still is last of the sextet. Rounding the far turn, three quarters in 113 and two fifth seconds, just outside the quarter pole. That's all for Made on a Mission, who's back into third. It's No Tanks and Victor LeBron, but here's Puppy on a string and Azeo De Leon as these two come together with three sixteenths of a mile to go and puppy on a string overtaking no tanks whip comes out on made on a mission the three to five favorite is in deep water with 150 yards left to go and puppy on a string opening up by the 16th pole no tanks is going to be second no better than third for made on the mission but the winner puppy on a string no tanks was second made on a mission third sweet rock was fourth Number two, Puppy on a String pulls the upset and returns 1780, 1040, 360. The winner owned by David Holderfield, trained by Tracy Anderson, and Azael De Leon was the winning jockey. Finishing second, number four, No Tanks. Third, number six, Made on a Mission. And fourth, number five, Sweet Rock. The exacto, $195.80. The try, $239.20. Daily double of 10 and 2, $48.20. The Super, $1,994 even, and the Pick 3, $99.80. Running time for the mile 16th was 1 minute 47 and 2 fifths seconds. Tonight's fourth race is a claiming event for Thrills and Up, which have not won three races in the last two years or never won four races lifetime. 5,000 the claiming tag, but go on mile 16th, scratch 9, Primo Rivera. Morning line favorite at 9 to 5, number 2, Memorial Blue with John McKee. And they are off. Memorial Blue broke sharp, but it's Starship Mercury who has the most speed. And from that eight hole, Starship Mercury will clear and have the lead and the rail onto the run the clubhouse turn. So Starship Mercury and Coco Merges show the way up top. The lead is just about two and a half lengths. Memorial Blue tracks from the second position. Then a length and a half further back, raring to go. Tracks from third, about three and a half off the pace. Then a length for the back to Noble Master. And then down along the inside, it's Cozy Kitten and a gap of about a length and a half to FMS, who rides the rail. Three links in front of Shutter Speed. And at the back of the pack, Tizon. Can't see them all, 15 links off the lead. And that first quarter was 25 seconds flat. Starship Mercury, under a long hold by Coco, shows the way by a length and a half. Memorial Blue and Johnny McKee track from second. Malcolm Franklin has raring to go third, about three links off the pace, out in the clear. Four links for the back, Cozy Kitten, and Rafael Mojica starts to advance. Then a link for the back to Noble Master and Azeo De Leon. Towards that one inside comes Ephraim S. and Dean Sarvis. Three links for the back, now underway, Shutter Speed and Rodrigo Vergara. And at the back of the pack, Tizon and Sammy Bermuda still can't see them all. The half, 49 seconds flat. So Starship Mercury out there paving that poly track path still shows the way by three and a half lengths. Whip comes out on Memorial Blue at seven to five is under a full out drive. Raring to go is third as they run at the top of the stretch. Three quarters was 113 flat and Starship Mercury still there. But now it's go time for Memorial Blue who's coming at him and coming on. Whip comes out on Raring to go. Ephraim S is gaining ground down the inside. 116th left. Starship Mercury is breathing for the wire. But here's a Memorial Blue up and over the top, Memorial Blue wins it. Starship Mercury was second, raring to go third, and Ephraim S was fourth.
Number two, Memorial Blue gets the victory as the favorite for owner trainer Don Parker. Johnny McKee up top. Memorial Blue, 480, 320, 280. Second, number eight, Starship Mercury. Third, number one, Rare and to Go. And fourth, number four, Ephraim S. Exacta, 4220. Trifecta, 15750. The Superfecta, 183320. The Daily Double, 5880. And the Pick 3, 5960. Running time for the mile and 16th was 1 minute 46 seconds flat. Tonight's fifth race is a Philly and Mare non two claiming event. 5,000 is the claiming tag, the distance one mile. Morning line favorite, the Florida Shipper. Number four, Tasmanian Angel for George Leonard, the third. They off slow start for eye on the money it's tasmanian angels sending on out but also there goes in focus bracken bell forever fair and through from the inside spirit so five in a line onto the run the clubhouse turn admiral's bride away in the sixth position new cat blue off the gate in seventh and gift of friends in eighth as they're midway through the opening turn then a length and a half further back, there goes Route 2 with an early move, and at the back of the pack, Eye on the Money is last of the 10. The first quarter, 25 and 2 fifth seconds up. The backside, they go three across the track. It is Spirit to the inside, right to her outside, Bracken Bell, and Perry Utes has Forever Farah a three wide third. Now, in focus, and Malcolm Franklin is spying on that top trio from fourth, about two lengths off of those leaders. Then comes Tasmanian Angel, who races up into the fifth position. A link for the back, New Cat Blue is up a couple of spots right to that one's outside route two and now on the move eye on the money has taken a wide angle to that far turn but is closing in after a florence half of 49 seconds flat spirit shakes off both bracken bell and forever pharaoh but here comes a fresh challenge namely in focus the daughter of tisway is moving very gamely on that far turn and she breezes up right to the outside of Spirit. There's a long way back, about six lengths back to Eye on the Money, who squeezes on through, gets a dream run on the inside. Three quarters, 114 and four, and they're on their way home. And Spirit floats in focus out past the crown of the course as they're by the eighth pole. It's Spirit, who now has the lead by two. Now in focus is gonna try to angle to her inside, but she can't kick on by the 16th pole. Spirit opening up with each and every stride. Spirit now on a two race poly win streak. She wins it by almost five and a half in the end. In focus, second, eye on the money, third. New Blue Cat was fourth. Number one, Spirit. Now a perfect two for two over the Turfway Polly. This three-year-old daughter by Colonel John is owned and bred by G. Watts Humphrey Jr., trained by Vicki Oliver, and Rogelio Miranda, the winning jockey. The winner, $764, $3. Second, number seven, in focus. Third, number 10, eye on the money. And fourth, the three, new blue cat. The exacta, 2760. Trifecta, $185.55. Super, $2,499.60. The pick three, $157. And the pick five for 50 cents, $346.15. Running time, one minute, 40 and three. The sixth race is a claiming event, wide open $5,000 claiming event to go five and one half furlongs. Field of eight, morning line favorite, number one, Lagoon of Diamonds, looking for two straight here at Turfway for owner trainer Kim Hammond. And they are off. Perfect win being hustled on out, but now it's a Lil J who has the most speed and threw from between horses uncaged. Laguna Diamond off the gate racing in third, then Beach Hut in fourth. Link for the back, Mackinac races along fifth, already about seven off the pace. Perfect win broke sharp, but is a third last as they head up the back stretch. The two back markers are Father Bud and uncaged. They took the first quarter in 22 and one fifth second. Little J and the nation's ninth all time leading rider, Perry Ute, show the way. But here comes Laguna Diamond and Azale De Leon ranging up to the outside while second. Three links further back coming under a ride now is Uncaged Beach Hut. Switches off cover to the four path as they run to the top of the stretch. And Little J, the clutch dropper, shows the way. But Laguna Diamonds is the danger to the outside by the eighth pole. It's Laguna Diamond who gains the upper hand on Little J down the center of the track. Beach Hut at a big price is motoring home. It's Laguna Diamonds, Beach Hut lugging in and not going to get two Laguna Diamonds. Laguna Diamonds, two in a row at the track. Second was Beach Hut, third. Little J just held off the late charge of Mackinac and Father Bud in 104-1. and 
Number one, Lagoon of Diamonds delivers Ad the favorite. Two straight wins here at Turfway for owner trainer Kim Hammond. Once again, Azale de Leon up top. This time for his second victory on the night. Number one, Lagoon of Diamonds, 320, 240, 220. Second, number five, Beach Hut. Third, number four, Lil J. Fourth, number seven, Mackinac. Exacta 2240. The Tri 8270. The Super 45240. The Daily Double 19 bucks and the Pick 3 2530. Running time for the five and a half furlongs 104 and 1 fifth seconds. Tonight's seventh race is a claiming event for three and ups, which have never won two. 15 down to 10 is the claiming tag. They're going mile on 16th. Field of six to go. Heavy favorite on the morning line, number three, Irish Proud with Victor LeBron. They're at the post. And they are off. Not the greatest start for Pappy or the Rocks or Plumes, but it was a fast beginning for the favorite Irish Proud who came out running. But Unwary Sky will hook up with that one early, and these two lead them onto the charge to the clubhouse turn. To the inside, Irish Proud giving the jock a bit of handful there. Appears to be on the wrong lead and trying to get out of touch, and that leaves Unwary Sky alone on the lead. So Unwary Sky shows the way. Spots appeal moves up into second. Plumes, three wide third. Irish Proud now settles along a little bit, but still getting out just a touch from fourth. Pappy on the Rocks is fifth, and Catanati is last of the six. Seven lengths from tip to tail. They charge up the backside. Unwary Sky and Dean Sarvis will dictate the terms, but spots appeal. Pressure's early in second. Plumes and Johnny McKee. White Blinkers ranges up now, overtakes second. Spots appeal back in third. Irish Proud to the inside, but is covered up to the outside by both Pappy on the Rocks and Catanati as they are starting to bunch up as they pass the half-mile pole. The half was in 48 and four fifth seconds. Unwary Sky still shows the way. Plumes and Johnny McKee moves a closer second. Catanati, the Indiana bred Red Silks, moves three wide third. Pappy on the Rocks is fourth. Now Irish Proud is being called upon from fourth, but it's going to need some racing room as they took three quarters in 113 flat and they run to the top of the stretch. Plumes just from Unwary Sky. Catanati is third. Irish Proud all dressed up with nowhere to go from fourth. It's going to have to go over heels there as they run to the top of the stretch. On the inside, Unwary Sky is not. Not done. Plumes shaken up by Johnny McKee. Here's Catanati. And now Irish Proud is moved to the outside in fourth, but has three links to raise and 100 yards to get there. Catanati with the upset brewing here. Catanati, the Indiana bred just from Plumes. Catanati in a photo finish with Plumes. Then came Zunwari Sky. Irish Proud at two to five was fourth in 144 and two. Number one, Catanati gets up in the photo there with Plumes. Number one, Catanati, an Indiana bred owned by Sue Goodman, trained by Doug Goodman with Chelsea Kaiser in the saddle. The winner, 12-20, 463-40. Second, number six, Plumes. Third, the five, Unwarry Sky. Fourth, the three, Irish Proud. The winning exacta was 76-60. The try, 137-20. Super, 439-20. Pick three, $52.90. The rolling double, $30.00 and 60 cents. Running time 144 and two. Tonight's eighth race is an allowance optional claimer to go a one mile, scratch numbers four and six. Morning line favorite to the outside, the 10 Red Hot Warrior. They're at the post and they are off. Eden Ridge broke very sharply. Also quick into stride was Menace the Dennis. Shortly after the start, Ingador had to take up. So they head on into the clubhouse turn. And on the inside, it's Day in the Sun. Up to the outside, Menace the Dennis. Through from between horses, it is Fifth Thief. Out wide, there goes Normandy Crossing. And then as they circumnavigate the turn comes Red Hot Warrior. So the first quarter was almost in a 25 seconds flat. They straighten up on the backstretch run. Down along the inside, races Day in the Sun. Right alongside, there is Menace the Dennis. On the extreme outside, it is Eden Ridge. Through from between horses, Normandy Crossing. So they head up the back stretch, four and a half furlongs to go. On the outside, Normandy Crossing and Menace the Dennis. These two lock up in an old-fashioned pace battle. Half mile, 47 and two, onto the far turn. Normandy Crossing just from Menace the Dennis. There goes Red Hot Warrior, cut loose to the outside while third. Then a link for the back. Fifth Thief moves into fourth as Day in the Stun starts to backpedal. From last, Ingador, after that check at the start, is rolling up and now about six links off the lead and is going to switch wide for the stretch drive as they run by the quarter pole. And it is Red Hot Warrior, the one to catch. 
Normandy crossing still gamely to the inside. Here comes Ingador. Black Silks under left-handed urging is coming at him and coming on as they race by the eighth pole. And with that big sweeping move, there goes Ingador. But now Eden Ridge is bearing down to the outside. Ingador drifting out into Eden Ridge. These two hook up as they race in deep stretch. Ingador, Indian Ridge, and Eden Ridge presses past wins by a neck. Ingador was second tight for third between Day in the Sun and Red Hot Warrior. Number nine, Eden Ridge rallies from off the pace and gets up in the shadow of the wire to win. Number nine, Eden Ridge, owned by Ron McKee, trained by Jason Cook. Victor LeBron up top for his second victory on the card. Number nine, Eden Ridge, picking up lifetime victory number seven, returns 11-20. 480 and 360. Finishing second, number five, Ingador. Third, the 10, Red Hot Warrior. And fourth, number one, Day in the Sun. The pick four, $120.90. The pick three, $68.40. Daily Double, $81.60. Super, $1,153.20. The Tri, $139.60. And the Exacta, $87.40. Tonight's ninth and final race is a condition claimer for Thrills and Up, which have not won two races in the last calendar year, six furlongs the distance. Number 1A, Upmost Intensity, ridden by Leandro Gonsalves. Morning line favorite, number 9, Flying Frank, with Johnny McKee. And they are off. Flying Frank was quick and stride. Also being hustled up from the inside is Duffelback. Through from between horses, Bottler, and also Just Chillin' Paws is a pace presence while third. Rod McLeod on poly debut is racing fourth off the gate, about three and a half off the pace, and a margin of four back to force motion. Then a link for the back to utmost intensity, followed up to the outside by Flying Frank. Through from the inside, Mr. Unanonymous is next. Up on the outside, One Hot Paradise. And at the back of the pack, Red, Blue, and True. 22 and four-fifths seconds of time for the opening quarter. On to the far turn. On the inside. Duffelback through from between horses, just chilling, boss. Whip comes out on Determined Braden, and Bottler is there with a shot. Here comes Flying Frank. Checkered Blue Silks ranges up into the four path. Is going to have to go wide, though, as they run to the top of the home stretch. And on the outside, Determined Braden strikes the front. Whip comes out on Bottler, who's coming out wide for the drive now, is Flying Frank. And Flying Frank sweeps on by that trio. And Flying Frank and Johnny McKee opening up with authority by the 16th pole. The battle is for the balance because it's all over up front. Flying Frank is gone. Wins by about four. Rod McLeod was second. Bottler third. Tight for fourth between Red, Blue, and True and one hot paradise. Please note the inquiry sign is on the board. Number nine, Flying Frank flew down the stretch and got up to win going away for Johnny McKee and owner trainer Justin Gotzi. The winner picks up lifetime victory number seven and returns eight forty five dollars and three dollars. Second seven Rod McLeod, third six Bodler, fourth ten one hot paradise and fifth number one red blue and true. The exacta eighty one sixty the try five hundred forty five ten the daily double a pair of nines sixty nine dollars and forty cents pick three two hundred thirty dollars eighty cents the super four thousand seven hundred twenty seven dollars twenty cents no winners in the high five carryover better than one thousand dollars well that wraps it up for this a friday edition of racing from turfway park live racing returns tomorrow saturday with a first post of six fifteen. for all of us here at the track thanks for tuning in this has been the turfway park report